Yo, 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 what's going on with you? It's your boy, Dizzy the Farmer, a.k.a. Crypto Dizzy. And yo, peace, family, man. I hope you get into that money. You don't ran your bag up. You're running into the love of your life, man, all of that. But today, today is finally the day, man, that I get to share with y'all this project that's been near and dear to me since day one. You know what I'm saying? Like, this drug me into the NFT space, and now I get to share the vibe and the feelings with y'all. You know what I mean? And I think the what we're going to do it instead of y'all, you know, I, I have the energy, you know what I'm saying, to do it. But I think that the creator of this project, when his energy comes across, you know what I'm saying, those speakers and letting you know, you know what I'm saying, what went into this project and what he wants you to get out of it, it's just a it's a different feeling, you know what I mean? Like, I can't, he, he does it better. So I'm going to let y'all hear that first, man, and then we'll come back and we'll get, we'll jump into even more details. But before we get into all of that, this is what I need. I need y'all to smash that like button, you know what I'm saying? Send this video to the moon. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, and tell a friend, tell another friend, you know what I'm saying? Tell all your homies, because everybody needs to know about this, man, and get them notifications on, because when I find another gym like this, you're going to want to be notified, man. So do that for me, and we're going to jump right into it. Let's go! Gotham Apes dot Phantom. If you are ready to speak, the floor is all yours. What's up, guys? What's up, Voodoo? Uh, let me just, you know, thanks. Hey, first of all, thanks for having me on. Second of all, shout out for, for True Voodoo. Uh, you know, him and his team, I believe, are doing, you know, more for the Phantom Network and the artists than almost anybody out there right now. Uh, the, you know, they're really allowing artists to do art and uh, managing, you know, a bunch of, you know, the marketing stuff that's all needed and the tech stuff that's all needed and all of these things. And, you know, we can point to, you know, several you know, future blue chip artists that have, have launched on, on, on potluck and, um, and, you know, they're doing, a, they're doing a great job with that. I'll kind of jump into what the Gotham apes is about. I mean, at its core, um, the Gotham apes project is really a story about the hustle and the grind. You know, for me, it's a personal tribute to, you know, the complex characters that make up Gotham city, New York city, um, and you know, every one of those characters with exception to every one of the characters coming up with exception to a few fun ones, uh, I've actually interacted with, I've come in contact with and have, you know, had an impact on my life. Uh, a little bit of my background. I spent a decade of my life living in New York. Um, it's one of the most unique cities in the world, in my opinion, if you've ever spent time there or lived there, you totally understand. Uh, you know, there's no place quite like it. And, you know, the people, uh, the characters and the never ending hustle has, has really inspired me and in many ways, you know, helped you know, shape my own work ethic through life. Um, you know, this project has been a ton of fun and it's really given me a chance to kind of relive my time there, relive my life there. And my hope is that the collectors of this series will connect with each one of these pieces, you know, by finding a little bit of themselves, uh, you know, somewhere, some way. And you'll see, you know, if you're following the project, you see each week we're dropping pieces and, uh, you know, each, each piece, you know, really represents, you know, someone, uh, you know, someone real, someone who's, who, who's, uh, you know, experiencing life, experiencing the hustle, experiencing the grind, um, kind of the, the, uh, the, the economics more, the, the, uh, whatever, you know, the economics of the project, uh, we're starting with 32, one out of one custom drawn, uh, you know, being categorized as ultra rare. Um, you know, this is the pre-mint series, uh, which is, again, a nod to the apes you know, that hustle every day to fucking make it happen. Uh, you know who you are. Uh, you know, these are available. These are these are kind of dropping each weekend uh, at Tombhead's auction, ho auction house on, on Discord. If, you're, if you don't go to Tombhead's auction house on Saturday and Sunday, you're missing out. You know, to, to what True Voodoo was saying before, it's, it's electric. You know, we'll have, you know, 100, 200 people in there sometimes, you know, bidding on emerging artists, bidding on, on you know, OG artists. And it's just, it's a really great time. It's at 7 p.m. UTC every Saturday, every Sunday, uh, hosted by, you know, Gab9 and, and of course, Tomb Heads. It's, um, it's, it's a great place, uh, you know, to spend, you know, a few hours on a, on a, on a weekend and you know, support art, support the community and, and be part of it. So, you know, we also are dropping one piece each week on Paint Swap on a 24 hour auction. Uh, basically, you know, dropping floor price, prices reserve. Um, and we're just kind of getting started here. Um, you know, part of, you know, part of these projects, I think, and what, what defines a lot of success is, you know, what else is involved? You know, are, are we, are we just getting an FT or, you know, what's behind it? And so with every person who purchases on paint swap or tomb heads, we're also including a physical, we have a really cool kind of like a, you know, acrylic frames set up. 
Um, so that I, I personally mail those out to all the owners, uh, the holders of the token, you know, long-term holders uh, uh, are going to have access to what I'm calling kind of the founders council, you know, being a founders council member, um, your founders council will you know, kind of, it's not an official DAO, but it will drive the direction of the project. Like, Hey, are we going to do this? Are we going to do that? Let's, let's do this together as a community because yeah, I feel like that's one of the best ways to drive, drive these projects. Um, airdrops for all the, you know, 32 holders, uh, alpha soon on that, we'll work on something really pretty cool. So plenty of, plenty of airdrops. Um, and, uh, and then it's followed up by a 90, 999 piece generative collection, uh, which will be made up of rares and, and rare and common rarity. Um, and then the, the last thing that's really, and so free mints, uh, whitelist on the generative collection for, uh, for any of the, you know, the 32 OG holders is kind of important. And then lastly, I mentioned that, you know, we threw a big event in Austin, Texas at South by Southwest, South by Southwest, where we launched, um, you know, the 32 holders are going to have VIP access to those in real life events. And, you know, we're really trying to kind of spoil people. I've got, you know, hoodies and swag and like all that fun stuff that's fun to like show up in the mail. Um, you know, really trying to kind of, you know, build some depth of the project beyond, you know, just making, you know, fun and, and cool art. So doing a relatively small size here, uh, just because it seems like, um, you know, there's a lot of projects out there that are doing five, 10, even 20,000. And yeah, I really want to keep this project, you know, tight, uh, especially on the initial phases, because uh, I, I find, you know, uh, it's much better to uh, under promise and over deliver than over promise and under deliver. It's really, really important to me that, uh, that we, that we run it in that way. Yeah, that, that's actually really cool. I love how you're, uh, you're really rewarding those first 32 holders. I, I love what you're doing with this project. I think it's really cool. And I'm super excited to get involved with this Phantom NFT space now. I love these developing NFT communities like Phantom. So thanks for coming on, Gotham Phantom. I really appreciate you talking to us and telling us about the Phantom community. It sounds like a super awesome uh, a concept and a really good community to get a part of. So if anyone's looking for a new community to join, I highly recommend the Phantom community. Yeah, I, I highly recommend it too. If, you, if you've ever been extremely pissed off about a $150 failed ETH transaction, uh, <laughs> you know, come check out FTM. Uh, we got your back. All right, boom, man, and we back. So y'all got to hear from mofo himself right you know what i'm saying put all, all the passion and all the hard work that went into this project i just wanted to jump over here to the website to show you two things this is uh first of all uh the apes that we're looking at here these are the ones that have already been auctioned off right so they already have their owners and physicals will be sent to them shortly right right after these last two get auctioned off all right and then also we have the roadmap so let's go ahead and dive into this roadmap and see what we have to look forward to all right, so phase one is complete already. That's the hand-drawn collection. Phase two, all right, Punks and Apes South by Southwest official project launch, private NFT live auction and community after party has been completed. I was there March 16th. It was dope. You know what I'm saying? Uh, phase three, all right, weekly auctions, tomb heads, and paint swap, including physical plus swag, etc. And we're in the middle of that now. We're actually wrapping that up, right, because there's only two more apes left. You got two more shots to get on that Founders Council, man, and get you a Genesis token. All right, get you some physical, get you a physical piece to go with that NFT plus the uh, the physical swag. I mean, I'm sorry, the uh, the hoodie, all right, the the merch that comes with it. Phase four, Q3, generative collection, 999 max mint supply, rare and common, all right, because the uh, the ultra rares are going to be the the 32 uh, Genesis tokens from that collection. Phase five, Q3, all right, these all have uh, question marks, right? So airdrops, serum mutations, land, neighborhoods, NFT staking, collaborations, all right? So now one of these question marks we could take away because if you are a holder, you have already received your something's different airdrop, right? And then one of the holders that received their airdrop, they already have it listed for 2,000 Phantom. Out the gate. You won't even know what it is yet. The things like that, though, you know, when you're a holder, it gives you positive vibes, man, about the project. Just gives you, I think that's an indicator of how people value this project already, and we're still in the early stages. But phase 7, Q4 is still locked. Phase 8, Q4 is still locked. Phase 9, Q4 is going to be a Punks and Apes Friends Official Holders Private NFT Live Auction Community After Party. And it's, if it's anything like the launch party, it's going to be lit. You know what I'm saying? Because that party was off the chain, straight up. All right, so that's the roadmap. Short and sweet, man. Like Just to echo what Mofo, uh, you know, one of his core philosophies is, 
to um, under promise and over deliver, right? So didn't want to come out with anything crazy on this roadmap um, that wasn't going to be able to get executed or anything like that. It's uh, a simple roadmap, but yet it's generated a ton of buzz and a ton of excitement. And this project is on its way, man, already. All right, so if you, I'll have this link down below, so you can also come here to visit, but you can enter your uh, email address, your Twitter, right, and your uh, wallet that you'd like to have whitelisted, and you can also request a whitelist for the generative collection. Well, all right, family, man, that's going to do it for this video. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this project down below. Don't forget to like, man, subscribe, you know what I'm saying? Tell all your homies, tell, you, tell your grandma and tell your auntie, you know what I'm saying? Because they'll tell everybody. Grandmas and aunties, they good for stuff like that, yo. But yeah, turn them notifications on, man. And yo, until next time, y'all keep growing. Peace.